people, welcome to Yin, seven days on the mat with me, Meg from Meg HQ. This is day three, um, this is Lily, my puppy, and we'll be working on some heart openers tonight and also some poses to help us surrender and to let go, to allow ourselves to let go of any limiting beliefs and stories that we might be holding on to. So I just want you to find a comfortable spot. You won't need anything uh, but a blanket, um, maybe a block or book, um, a pillow uh, could be handy as well, and possibly a furry friend. And then just find somewhere where you can be comfortable. If you need to pause at any time, then do that. And let's just start to become aware of breath. Take a seat and just start to breathe deep. Starting to inhale for four counts. And then exhale for four counts. And just continue with this breath. Again, allowing inhale for four counts. And then exhale for four counts. I wanted to start with a reading from Katie Dean's book, Becoming Brave. Isn't silence supposed to bring you peace and calm? Why would it be that silence causes me to feel anything but relaxed? Isn't that what people do to tune off? What was I frightened of? I was scared that I would get myself into a place in my thought process that I couldn't come back from. Or that I'd follow a thought down a rabbit hole and take a full day to unravel the web of anxiousness I'd woven with myself. There had to be another way. Just where you are, slowly come out of your breath. Start to find our first posture by grabbing block, book, pillow, whatever it is, and placing it on the mid part in your spine, right down the center of your vertebrae. Now this should feel super comfortable. Now it might be really nice to drop a pillow under your head. I love having my head drop behind. Um, you should be able to find this beautiful um, position where your, your chest is lifted and you find this beautiful opening in the heart space. So adjust as much as you need and just find a level where you can be where it feels okay here. And just be in this pose. I've just realized the camera's come off. Be in this pose and allow yourself to soften and sink down. Now I've popped the block up onto the second height here, which is quite an arch through the spine. And if you feel any back tension or if it's super tight, just start little. Remember, our yin postures are somewhere where we can feel sensation, but never, ever any pain. There is absolutely no push. And this is what tonight is all about. It's all about surrender and letting go. So if you're uncomfortable in this pose, just remember you can always just use a blanket under the spine, or you can simply just lie down in Supta Baddha Konasana with the heels together and the knees dropping out to the side. If at any time anything doesn't feel right, very slowly start to make your way back out and just find somewhere that does or just come to a seated position and pause and just be still. I'll continue on with the reading. She says, I know I'm not alone in this now, but for a time I thought I was. This was a pattern of avoidance I had my whole life. Avoidance, denial, busyness procrastination, all fear, any of this sounding familiar, my friend. I had attempted to drink over it, exercise over it, travel away from it, not talk about it, work over it, all the while blaming my coffee, my situation or someone else for my fearful ways. We can never truly escape our thoughts. We can, of course, push them away for a time, pretend that hurts or situation never happened, that our feelings were never hurt, or that we had acted against our better judgment and hurt someone else in the process. If it feels nice for the hands to come above the head, feel free to be here for the next minute. We can attempt to push them down and numb them out, but they will always bubble back up to the surface at the most inappropriate times. It can be anything that reminds us. Our feelings and thoughts will keep coming up for us until we have essentially acknowledged them, honoured them, felt them in their entirety and learnt from their existence. 
Awareness is the first key in any epic revamp of one's life, and it certainly was my own. Elizabeth Gilbert says, I've never seen any life transformation that didn't begin with the person in question, finally getting sick of their own bullshit. She says, and I was, so I did. And so did I. Let's take a few more breaths here where you are. In each posture tonight, we'll be holding for anywhere from a minute and a half to three minutes in each pulse. If you feel ready, start to take an inhale and then slowly exhale, release. And as slow as you can, just start to bend the knees and start to rock your way out of this pose. Sometimes just going straight to the side can be a really lovely way to come out of this pose. So always take your time. When you're ready, plant the heels down and just let the knees just fall left to right. A gentle windshield wiper here to release the lumbar spine. It's really nice to let the head turn the opposite direction for this as well. So just find somewhere that feels good. Moving into our next posture, just take the time to pull and roll and just move really slowly, coming through some cow and cats before we, we transition. Now these cow and cats are just an amazing way to get some spinal articulation and flow, we are prana, into the spine. Now especially if backs are tight, which mine was for so long, I had bulging discs ever since I've been 24, 23 years old. I used to be very careful with my back, I used to be very stuck and stagnant until I had, yeah, Rod, Rod Cooper say to me, you know, you need to move, you need to back bend. At the time I was like, I can't do that, my back will go out and I kept talking myself out of it. So I invite you to feel and be gentle and playful with your spine in a loving and nurturing way. Your back will tell you. It's about learning how to listen. So feel free to move through these, whatever feels good. That's maybe side to side, up and down. Again, if the back is a little bit tight, just be gentle as you, you move through and feel. And send love through every single movement that you do. Coming into one of my favorite postures here. So either coming into child's pose, which can be really nurturing on the lower spine. It can also offer your heart space through the earth. Complete surrender. Or you're more than welcome to come into our sort of puppy pose. And by doing that, again, it sort of just drops the heart space to the earth. You have an opportunity to rest your head onto a pillow or a block or a puppy if they're available, whatever, whatever works for you. And you want your hips stacked above your knees. And then you want to drop through, you want to drop your heart space through the shoulders. Widen your hands to start so that you allow space through the shoulders. This can be quite tight through the shoulder joint. So just check in and you can either turn your face to the side or you can start to come down into the forehead. Again, take your time. We're, we're not aiming to force it down. So feel and listen first because we're here for a while. So come in gentle and then over time and of course breath then allow yourself to start to soften. Apparently, uh, in this day and age and in this world, everything moves so quick. We're um, in a world where we're wanting instant results and instant gratification. And yin is a complete opposite. Things take time and yin teaches us to have patience. It teaches us to have surrender and it teaches us to have love. So find where you would like to be here and then just simply stay.
You might be finding a few more deeper breaths here as you come to the end of this posture. You might be feeling the openness in the shoulders and also the heart space. Let's take one more really, really deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Now tucking in your belly so you brace the core, tuck the chin, slowly push up. And then just with the core brace, take the time to come down to the earth and just start to surrender here. Just coming into a gentle rebound to let the body just soften and be. And just pause. Can you just notice how the body feels here? Just feeling the nourishment through the spine, the back, the heart space. And can you actually allow yourself to let go more? Anything that you believe about yourself or any stories you've been holding on to, just, just allow them to stay behind. In this next 20 minutes, you can pick them up after the practice if you still want to hold on to them. But for now, allow none to, to get in your way. Our next pose is moving into Sphinx pose, a really beautiful grounding posture. So I've just demonstrated here with a blanket to start to just prop it under the chest and that will give you a very gentle back bend and you are, will definitely have some compression in the spine. We did this last night too. It's a beautiful pose and it really helps ease lower back pain. If you do want a little bit more, you're more than welcome to grab the block and I won't talk too much through this one as you know we did this last night and it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that your elbows are underneath your shoulders. If you need more space in your lumbar spine, bring the feet further apart, untuck the toes. And if you would like the feet closer together, feel free to play with that and then just allow the head to soften. You can allow the head to go to a block, pillow, bolster or just simply hang for a beautiful neck stretch. Start to feel the breath again, fill the body with space and love and compassion. I'd just been for a run actually before this and it felt so lovely to just do the complete opposite. Take one more inhale and as you exhale just allow yourself to soften right down to the floor. Allow yourself to feel nurtured here, allow yourself to feel loved and allow yourself to feel limitless. Just breathe. If you need to turn your head the other direction, just feel free to do that anytime when you're in a rebound pause. Start to breathe a little deeper where you are. 
and we're going to start to just move into broken wings so I've popped my left hand out to the side and come onto my right fingertips and just slowly start to push into the right to allow the leg to come up and over now you don't have to worry about the foot landing on the floor this is where a cushion or a pillow or anything under that uh, it would be the right foot will really help um, I felt really open today so my foot came down to the floor again it's not about forcing here and getting a beautiful stretch through the shoulder in turn opening the heart space to just allow prana flow beautiful key energy just inhale the right arm up if you like and it can actually come around for half a bind and again know that this is not a must you don't have to go here in time it will happen in time the body will be like yeah cool let's give this a go but if the shoulder and the chest and the heart space in the back is not comfortable doing that then just find somewhere where you can stay breathe Just start to breathe deeper and exhale. And as you inhale, if the hand was over, slowly inhale it up and around and come out exactly the same way that you went in and then pause. Always moving so slow between each posture. Take your time, settle. We're in too much of a rush these days. Everything is fast. Simply starting to move into the other side, the right hand goes out in line with the shoulder. Or just find somewhere, um, again, it's not about being in perfect alignment, see what feels good for you. Press into left fingertips as that, that knee just rolls up and over. And again, go nice and slow, fix your shorts if you need to fix your shorts. <laughs> and then just notice the difference on this side, if there's any difference in the spine, if there's any difference in the shoulder and the chest and... Simply take whatever variation that you need for this side. <laughs> My dog coming in with the ball, bless her. <laughs> Just breathe.
Just on your next inhalation, very slowly start to inhale the arm up if it was wrapped behind you. Exhale back down and slowly bracing the belly, come back again to lie on your belly back into rebound. Let's take time out here just to check in, just notice it's so important to just pause in between these postures. Especially when working with the spine and the heart space, just a really beautiful opportunity to let yourself settle. Maybe the feet might come up and you might very gently rock them left to right. That might feel absolutely magical with your hips. If not, just keep them where they are. When you're ready, slowly come down. Brace the belly, tuck the chin and very slowly come up. Maybe round the spine. Don't worry about me here. And just come into a bit of an angry cat. And we're going to come into a very, very relaxed downward facing dog, I believe. So... Always really slowly take the time just to feel and just check in with how the body is feeling. So down dog or child's pose. Um, I love to come up into a down dog, especially after you know any of these heart opener poses and surrender poses. It feels really nice to just put feet and hands on the ground. Pedal it out, do whatever you need to do here. Maybe bend one knee, straighten the other. Do the same on the other side. Bit of a shout out there to Lone from Mitch from Lone Clothing. He does some really wicked singlets. Um, so yeah, thanks Mitch. And let's take the time out to bring the feet around. And again, another one of my favorite poses while I fix up my shirt um, is coming into full shoelace. Now, this is a really um, nourishing uh, hip opener. And it is a really beautiful pose to surrender and it can be very challenging on the mind and the heart space because it can be quite tight we hold a lot of emotions and tensions in our hips so firstly you just try crossing the legs and then folding now this is option number one always know you can come back to this option if not feel free to cross the right leg over the left um, and you just want to make sure the butt cheeks are on the ground make sure hips are stacked and the knees are guiding towards being on top of each other see i'm still working on that I will be for a while and remembering that yin is a practice. It's not yin perfect. It's not yoga perfect. It's yoga practice. So as you find somewhere comfortable, inhale with a long spine and then use your exhalation to gently fold forward. And I think I've just reached for a block here. And an option is to, of course, rest the forehead onto the block on any height. Close down the eyes. Let the shoulders melt either side of the spine so let them just cascade down so there's absolutely no tension in the shoulders the elbows are heavy the neck is heavy I really like to do this pose without a block I love the stretch in the back of the neck by just letting the neck hang but please take whatever works for you so use your breath to fill your body and use your exhalation to let go remember we're limitless here we're practicing with no labels, with no stories. An opportunity to, for you to feel and just be a part of yourself, full whole, full as one. An interesting fact, babies are born with two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises, which means all the other bullshit that we take on board has been learned. So we have an opportunity in what Katie spoke about and it's called awareness. We have an opportunity to choose differently in every single moment. Of course, our stories and our beliefs about ourselves get deeper and deeper the older we get. However, it's just like unraveling a piece of string. If we want to change it, we have every opportunity to, but we have to become aware. And how we become aware is by pausing, by releasing the need to fill the space. By doing a little bit of self-inquiry and going, you know, what do I want to continue with this story? Do I want to continue with the way things are going in this pattern? Or am I over it? Am I jack of it? Am I ready to mix things up? It's your choice. We have to own up to it first. Continue to breathe.
starting to breathe deeper in. Exhale out. And on your next inhale, slowly, slowly, slowly stack the spine, just resting the head on top. And if it feels nice, you can inhale the right arm over. Um, again, just maybe sit tall if that is um, annoying for the lower back and it doesn't feel right. Just check in, be honest, see what, see what feels good. Take three or four breaths here. I'm trying to force, just allow gravity to guide the hand. Take another inhale and then exhale, release. Slowly lean back, untangle, take your time. And we're going to just simply take the time to cross to the other side. Incoming puppy right here. <laughs> Bless her. She's such a cutie. She loves yen. So take an inhale with the legs crossed the other direction. And then as you inhale, lengthen your spine. Find space and then exhale, simply fold. Now remember, just crossing your legs is totally fine. You can always sit onto a block or the edge of a mat too to give yourself extra height. So always listen to what your body needs. Remember, no force. We have enough of that going on in our world. Simply surrender. It's so nice to get puppy cuddles with her. <laughs> Slowly, in your own time, just take your time to roll up your spine. And gently, just take a moment to just uncross and grab any props you need. We're going to come into a forward fold caterpillar. So I've just used a pillow here to show an example. Inhale up and as you exhale, tuck the pillow into your belly and allow yourself to fold over it. You can use a one or two pillows here um, or a bolster if you have a bolster that works. Again, I really like the neck to hang down, but you can put something under your head too. You just use whatever you can. You don't need expensive props or anything like that. If you feel like giving the back a beautiful release, let the spine just arch up. This is not an active um, pose where we're very passive in this one. And you want to just go to wherever your body just melts to. So think melt instead of force. And then just let the breath guide you. The knees can be bent. They don't have to be straight. Don't worry if you don't get far down. We're not comparing ourselves to others or what anybody else looks like on a video. 
Remember your body is completely unique to you as is your mind and also your body. So be really mindful of that and we need to stop the comparison. You know, the, um, I think it's, goodness, who am I going to quote here? I'm unknown if you ever said this, but it's comparison is a thief of joy. And it so is. It, it took my joy for 20 years because I just constantly wanted to be somebody else or look like somebody else or people please others. And when I started to realize that, I realized how much I wasn't paying attention to my own mind and body. And it was no wonder I was sick all the time. It was no wonder I suffered bloating and stress and anxiety and depression and eating disorders. Because all my life I was trying to people please. So it's so true. Comparison is the thief of joy. So it's about time we stopped. Continue to breathe deep. On your inhale, allow yourself to exhale. And then very, very slowly, just one vertebrae at a time, slowly come up and stack the spine. Be gentle, be really gentle. Moving down to the floor, to take your time again. Find somewhere that feels comfortable coming into a pontoon. <laughs> I was doing pontoon this morning at, um, I know we said Malambimbi. I really want to go to Malambimbi again. No, not Malambimbi, at... Um, Merriweather with Jen and it was so cute. I don't know if you saw on my Instagram, but a little toy poodle came and absolutely just ransacked us. It was so, so adorable. It was tiny. <laughs> so grab a block or bolster or cushion, whatever, and place it underneath your sacral area. This should feel so comfortable. Now immediately I've brought my hands above my head. I really needed to open my heart space today, so it just felt very natural for my hands to go behind. Now, I don't usually straighten my legs, um, but as I said today, I felt very open and safe through my lower back. So I felt it okay to straighten my legs. But if there is any pain or sensation, if you do straighten the legs, please bend the knees and ground the feet on the earth. It should feel super comfortable. So please adjust any block or bolster or prop if it, if it doesn't and just enjoy. Be with the breath. And as you start to breathe deeper, exhale, surrender more. You know, Gabby Bernstein tells us when you think you have surrendered, surrender more. Bend your knees one at a time, brace the belly, push through the heels and remove the block from underneath your sacral area and slowly come down to the earth. Maybe if you want to move the legs left to right or go straight into Sukta Baddha Konasana like I did. Just find somewhere nice where you can stay. We're actually going to finish our practice here tonight in Sukta Vatakanasana. So I invite you to stay here. Of course, take longer as you need. We'll be here for about a minute or two. 
So you just want to find somewhere comfortable, allow complete heaviness to wash over your body. And with that comes love, compassion, kindness and forgiveness. As you breathe, imagine a white light filling your body, bringing with it all the good feels. As you exhale, allow yourself to completely surrender and let go of the old stories. And as you lie here, the light gets brighter and those feelings get deeper. And on every exhale, you let go. Slowly start to breathe deeper. Make any movements that you need to to come back. Take about three to four breaths here just to start to push yourself over the side, but take your time. Katie says, if you've been feeling like you're striving, pushing and white knuckling it for a place within your life, I urge you to step back. If you've been filling your days with expectations and are currently harboring the dis-ease to please, I urge you to turn inwards. And my favorite, if you've been living your life in the fast lane, missing your moments and always looking towards the next big thing, then I would love for you to stand still and release the need to fill the silence. After pausing for some gratitude on your side, slowly make your way up to seated, your knees or cross-legged, whatever feels nice. Just be in those words for a moment. Stop feeling like we have to fill space with something. I did it for 20 years. Be still. Rumi tells us, the quieter we become, the more we can hear. Roll your neck around, just move key energy through the body, create prana, you should feel pretty good by this stage. Don't jump back on social media, don't check any emails, don't go on and check any comments or likes or validations. All we need to do is validate ourselves. Bring your hands to your heart space, promising yourself to nourish yourself. Bring, heart to, bring hands to your mouth, encouraging kind words, and then to your forehead, encouraging kind thoughts. With love and light. Namaste. Thank you again for your practice, your time out, this half an hour spent on you. Look forward to tomorrow night to bring you night number four of 30 Minutes of Yin. Remember the journey is online, so feel free to visit meghq.com to check it out. Thank you.